Jeff, thank you. Because of Maria, Dare County is under a state of emergency. Right now, mandatory evacuation orders are issued for Hatteras and Ocracoke Islands. This is for visitors only. Reporter Stephen Graves talked to disappointed tourists. Here in Salvo, just north of Hatteras and Ocracoke Island, a steady flow of traffic as tourists are forced to leave. We're learning some might not like it, but officials say it's the best way to go. I'm thinking, why did it have to come to that this week? That's what I'm thinking. Hurricane Maria putting a damper on hundreds of tourists time in the Outer Banks. Spent the night packing out. A mandatory evacuation of visitors on Ocracoke and Hatteras Islands. This as conditions are expected to pack a punch in the coming days. In Salvo, bumper to bumper traffic. Some people taking it in strides. But it's all right. I mean, it is what it is. We caught up with Evelyn Christich at a gas station, taking that unscheduled pit stop while getting special supplies on their way out. Much as we didn't want to, we said, let's go to the store, get, get gas, and we'll wait for the crowd to kind of dwindle down and we're on our way back. Right now, officials are specifically warning folks of flooding on NC-12, a trouble spot. Overwash is expected when those high winds from Maria push in. Some tourists wanted to ride it out. Do you, do you think an evacuation is needed? Uh, I personally didn't think so. And Steve Kinkerson's family from Maine is just trusting those who are giving the orders. We don't know how to prepare for a hurricane and all this stuff, so. I'd do the same thing if I was them. Dare County officials have already closed down offices on Tuesday as those winds are expected to be the worst tomorrow night. Reporting, I'm Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.